So this is, I mean, this is one way to find out who some MPs are, because I'd never heard of Liam Byrne before. Um, a Labour MP, this is a story from The Times, suspended for the Commons for bullying his sta a, a staff member of his. Mm. Um, he's a Labour cabinet minister. Um, so, you know, I think that Labour saw how well the Tories were doing with uh, controversy and so I decided to step in. But this he, was a while ago, wasn't it? He was, uh, he, he was doing this, was he doing this during his time when he was in office or is it more recent? Uh, well, he was doing it to somebody in his constituency office. So, yeah. um, so it was a while ago, I guess 2019 19, is when the person was working ago. for him. Yeah. So a few years ago. Because um, his most famous, sorry to interrupt you, yeah. his most famous, the only thing he was famous for was leaving a rather sarcastic note when the yeah. Tories took over from Gordon Brown. Oh, he yeah. was the one who left the note in the Treasury office. Yes, oh, I would, yeah. that's one surprise. Right. You haven't heard of him. Yes, he I'd forgotten the, about he was that. The yeah. Chief Secretary of the Sorry. Treasury. No, no, there, no money left. There's no money left. Yeah, no. yeah. There, is, there is no money. And well, I always he, quite liked him for that, to be well, honest. But <laughs> now he's got another reason for us to remember who he yeah, is, yes, which is good. It's always it's like um, Bruce Forsyth said, you've got to you've got to keep it, you know, every so you every so often you have to kind of make your name I mean, again. That has been over ten papers. years now, I suppose. Yeah. Since that was ten so years. So what was the bullying amounted to? Was he like lunch money? What was he ostracized his member of staff named David Barker? He denied David access to his IT account. Mm. And he broke off contact with him, which I mean, it is bullying. That's petty. not yeah, good. No, it's it, not nice. It no. sounds like stuff that would happen with my kids. Like you can't play with the IT account. Yeah. I'm not talking to you, and don't touch my toys. Um, what I liked was that Liam has been uh, uh, told to write a letter of apology, mm. um, which made, made me think of Bart Simpson in the opening credits. Just right. Yes. I will yes. not ostracize <laughs> my members of staff. Well, I don't know how sorry he's. I mean, he was doing it. This was a sustained thing. Yeah. There were all sorts of things like him him wiping access to his uh, to his computer. Uh, really? Ch yeah, changing, making, making his passwords void. This kind of strange behaviour. I wouldn't behavior. even do that to my wife. No, it's... it's <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to. She's it's a own so but, but, it, but also, this is the equivalent of ghosting. Yeah, I mean, he's basically yeah. not replying to messages, emails or anything like that. And his excuse was, well, I wasn't his line manager. And it's... I mean, it is a weird... A, a sort of... Mm nasty, passive-aggressive type of bullying when you just ignore someone. Yeah, in yeah. a sense, it's worse, I think, that kind of thing. Well, I mean, it, it, yeah, it can certainly... It messes with your mind, yeah. doesn't it, which yeah. can be very unsettling. Yeah, you're but not quite sure that anything is going on. Am I imagining it? You yeah. know, that's yeah. a part of it, yeah. But being, you know, suspended for two days from the House of Commons... Just seems, two days. I mean, it's a bit of a farce anyway. Yeah, but it's, yes. I mean, this is his main punishment, is being spoken of in these terms on GB News, isn't exactly. it? That is it's definitely... Been, you know, you'll be suffering. Get up from that now. Very disappointed. Andrew, uh, part two, MPs behaving badly. This one has picked the excuse du jour to explain his trans. Uh, not yes. to say his, obviously his Trav just stopped on the word trans, which is not appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> this is Jamie Wallace. Um, and, of course, Jamie Wallace has been in the press a great deal recently uh, because uh, he came out as trans, mm. although said he wanted to use male pronouns yeah. still and, and retain all the accoutrements of, of maleness, mm. etc., um, but, you know, there's been all sorts of issues surrounding Jamie Watts. So this was the car crash that he was involved with. Yeah. Um, and now he's been charged for and it. And the car crash, so, it wasn't that it, the crash itself no, was criminal, but he, he left the scene of the accident. He left the scene, failed. And just to be to clear, the, the, the implication is that had he remained there, he may have been subjected to That's it. right. I mean, you've got to, we all know, you can't, you have to report yeah. these things. Yeah. And he failed to report it. He's now been charged as a result of that. One of the reasons that he gave though, was that he, had, he claims that he was raped and that obviously this has, uh, as it would, caused uh, all sorts of psychological problems. He yeah. was blackmailed, you know, all sorts of horrible things like this. So He, he, said, he said he was, um, he'd been using a, a sort of dating site or something, hadn't he? And yes. I think he'd been trying to sort of explore his sexuality, come to terms with it, and, yeah. and he had, he, he'd had some hookups and, and some of them had gone wrong and this was one of the ones that had gone wrong. Yes. All of which sounds horrific, but... I don't know, maybe even just saying but after the back. I mean, it really is horrific. But I think his constituents have the right to expect that if somebody is spiralling out of control like that in their private life and no longer able to obey the law in some fairly straightforward matters... Oh, I mean, of well, course, you, you, can't, you, you, can't, you can't carry on, can no, you? No, I mean, you can't be an elected representative and you, you break the law in this way. Yeah. You know, but but uh, everyone, um, obviously everyone has complete and utter sympathy for someone who's yeah. in that position where they're being blackmailed, where they've been raped, etc. But no, of course, I mean, he has to be held accountable uh, for all of this. And, and it, it just seems that it is one thing after another uh, yeah. with, with James And Bond. is there, I mean, am I out of order saying this, is there a little bit of suspicion that when you reach for some of these things in order to... Uh, you know, exculpate yourself. You know, you shift the centre of focus of attention. Not, I mean, claim a claim of rape, not that, but to say I'm trans. I had issues when I was young. My doctor uh, explained to me that I seem to be having some sort of gender dysphoria. I now realise that I'm trans. But no, no male pronouns, no change in dress, no change in habits. 
Well, it, it, it all just smacks a little bit of somebody who's trying to throw up squid ink, doesn't it? Well, it, you, it does you know distract I mean? from the, you know, I mean, you know, uh, a couple of years ago when he was running, he was, you know, depicted his father with, with a married man with, with children and, you know, but no one's talking about infidelity or anything like that, no, the kind no. of scandal that you would, because everyone's talking about how brave he is for coming yes. out and being the first openly transgender yeah. member of parliament. So, look, I d- can't read his mind. I don't know whether there is an element of dis- uh, a distracting no. technique there or whether all of this is sincere and, co- and coincidental. I don't yeah. know. But well, you give the man the benefit of the doubt, but I certainly yeah. think his constituents have, have the right to uh, uh, express a degree of dissatisfaction. What do you think, Eric? Well, I mean, I mean, overall, with all these scandals happening, I mean, it does feel like there's a top trumps going on yeah. between the oh, MPs yeah. at the moment that you know, you've got the porn watching going on, the bullying going on over here. You know, I mean, are they daring each other to do these things? Like, <laughs> go steal some candy from a baby. Yeah. What's the next level? They're being um, exposed as a shoddy third-rate cohort, aren't they? Yeah. In, in, well, I mean, well, J- Jamie Wallace was also implicated in a sugar daddy website, yes. dodgy website. Oh, really? Because I wasn't meaning that when I mentioned candy. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> no, that's just coincidence. Yeah. But there seems to be quite a lot going on. Mm. Yeah. 